Namaste ji this is Vish and welcome to my YouTube channel So in this video we are going to create this beautiful looking food delivery website and I'm going to touch base on all the concepts in this particular video It's going to be a very powerful video so make sure that you watch till the end So without any further ado let's get started with today's tutorial So uh this is the original wireframe that we created for this particular tutorial and this is the design that you are looking at. Let me move to the right and this is the mood board that I have created with all the images, all the elements that we are going to use inside our original website. So uh let me go ahead and select a canvas. Now I have already designed all the elements for our tutorial. Now you can see there is a style guide. So uh along with the style guide uh you can see that I have also created a mood board with all the photos that we are going to use inside our website design since I do not want a very long video I don't want you to bore you guys as well uh just give you all the chocolates to eat and therefore uh we'll be working on the principles I'll be showing you and breaking down all the principles and design concept how we are going to design instead of you know wasting our time on typing the text and uh, trying to find all the photos so i have already collected it here for you guys okay along with that this is the color palettes that we are going to use for our website design so uh, there are in total five colors that we will be using for our website design okay now this is a frame and i have created this frame this is a macbook pro 16 uh inches frame you can also go ahead and select and uh, for that all you have to do is go to the frames which is the second icon third icon from the left and go to the macbook pro 16 inches and you will get this particular frame all right now with that aside let us get started with the actual tutorial all right so first things first what we are going to do is we are going to select our frame and i have also created the layout grid However I'll go ahead and delete all of these and show you how to create a layout grid okay go to the layout grid click on this plus icon let's select a row lay column layout grid okay and we are going to make it a 10 column layout grid along with a difference of 45 pixels left and right as you can see as soon as i hit 45 it's going to give a difference of 45 left and right let's also add a row grid okay and we are going to take a same count of 10 and we are going to add a 45 pixels uh difference from top and bottom wonderful after our grid is created now we know the proper measurement of how we are going to create our elements inside this website okay let's start by creating a rectangle okay and i am going to make a rectangle for our header menu of about so much size and let's give it a rounding of say 35 pixels okay and we are going to use 35 pixels throughout our design okay so that our design is consistent throughout the website okay now let's select a rectangle one more time i'm going to draw a rectangle from right about here all the way to about so much okay and let's give it a rounding of 35 pixels and uh we will actually go ahead and remove the 35 pixels over the top over here i mean i can also remove down but since that part is not visible i'm not going to uh, care about that so much okay let's make it zero and this is the design that we get where we have a rounding over here but we do not have a rounding on the right end corner okay wonderful and after that let me also go ahead and create few more rectangles and i'm going to create a rectangle of so much size and we can go ahead and change the color make it a little darker color and i'm going to just duplicate and copy four rectangles and this is our design and we'll choose one more rectangle and elongate it a little bit and we're going to select all the rectangle and let's give it a rounding of 25 for this purpose okay all right so these are the rectangles that we are going to use and uh, let me select one more rectangle oops so as you can see when i clicked on this and moved on it it's uh, accidentally you can actually go ahead and move the elements right 
So for now, I just want this to be locked in place. I do not want to accidentally move the position of this particular rectangle. I'm just going to go to the layer and click on this lock icon. You can also go ahead and do that. And now, as you can see, if I try to move how much, how much ever I want to, it's not moving, right? Because we have locked the layer. Okay, so let's work with this rectangle. Let us make one more copy and I am going to elongate this copy all the way till the bottom. Okay. All right, wonderful. And I'm also going to slightly, you know, first I'm going to unlock this layer. It looks kind of very tiny. And I'm just going to place this design outside first. I'm going to reduce our height to 1450. Okay, and make it a little shorter. All right. Now let's select the entire design and let us place this back into its origin, original position. All right, wonderful. This is the size we want for our frame. Okay, because that is the size, that is the same size that I've used for this particular frame as well. And let's zoom in now. Okay, and we'll start working with all the other elements as well. Now what we will do is we'll start giving it the color, the actual color that we require for our uh, website. Okay. Now let me zoom it out and we are going to start placing our elements one by one. Let me start by placing the first element. I'm going to place the third element over here. And we are going to align all of these elements in a while so you don't have to worry about that. Now, as you can see, we have also got some drop shadow and to create a drop shadow, all you have to do is select the rectangle and you can go to the effect layer and click on drop shadow. Go ahead and increase the spread and you can go ahead and, you know, blur it out. So you see that effect that we have just got. Let me turn on and off. So this is the effect what we have created on these other rectangles as well. We do not require a drop shadow for this rectangle. So I'm just going to go ahead and remove that particular drop shadow. All right. Now we will go ahead and copy. this particular photo and I'm going to place it right about here. Let's zoom in and let's scale it down a little bit as well. Okay. And I'm going to place it right about here. Let's select this particular rectangle and let's zoom out a little bit and we are going to select this color. Okay. After that, we'll move on to a gradient and we'll turn on our gradient. I think I kind of like this one. I'm just going to move slightly. It's just a taste pref preference. Okay. So you can just uh, design a gradient any way you like. I think this one looks pretty. So I'm going to stick to that one. Okay. And after that, let's start copying our text. I'm going to select on these texts. Wonderful. Let me zoom out now and I'm going to copy this particular burger and I'm just going to take this. I have this one and I'm going to place it right about here. Let me copy, select both of these and I'm going to center align it properly. And after that, on this particular rectangle, 
uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take two or three copies from here three copies from here and I'm going to place it in our Let's select this layer, okay, and I'm going to come out of it. Give it a difference of five. Now it looks clean, right? I'm going to slightly move this to this particular end. Wonderful. And we are going to now go ahead and copy this text to write about here. I have actually also grouped all of these text and created an auto layout out of it. We are soon going to work on the responsiveness, so don't don't you worry about that. Once we are done designing our complete frame, uh, you know, we'll work on the responsiveness, okay? Finally, we have this plus icon. Now, uh, this plus icon, to create this plus icon, it's quite simple. Let me show you how to do that. Take a circle and create a circle, something like this. And maybe we can go ahead and give it a color, which is this green. After that, all we have to do is create a plus symbol over here. And this is how I created this one as well. Okay. And we're going to commit to it and we're going to do done. Let's change its color to maybe a white color and we can give it some radius as well so maybe 8 radius and when we click on both of these elements and hit this second uh, icon over here it creates a component once you have created the component you can actually duplicate and place it wherever you want to so this is how i created this particular button hope uh, you have understood that let me go ahead and delete this out and let me select this button that i have created and i'm going to create a copy of it and I'm going to place it right into our frame. I'm going to move this a little bit us up. Let me turn on our grid and work with it properly. So I'm going to select on this and I'm going to make some copies into out here, right out here. But as you can see, when I place this copy inside our auto layout, it very randomly puts it into the straight line because when we click on this auto layout this is how we have been working for example if i click on this auto layout it was laid out when i click on this frame you can see it was laid out in a vertical direction so how do we bring this up to about here wherever i want to place okay what i'm going to do is i'm going to double click on this and if you see over here in the inspector panel you see this plus icon which says absolute position so it's a miracle button if you click on it it's going to detach itself and now you can just place this particular button wherever you want to i'm going to resize this and place it right about here All right, so now let's go ahead and create our header menus as well. I'm just going to clear this up. So uh, in our style catalog, I've already selected all the header menus and I've done an auto layout of all the header menus. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and place this out right about here. And we are going to center align it properly with this particular layer. Okay, wonderful. So this, these are our header menus and uh, after that, let's go ahead and create some circles around this point, okay?
all right now we are going to go ahead and create a button over here and uh, let's go ahead and type view details and uh, we are going to create a rectangle of say about so much size let me give it a rounding of 15 and we are going to place our view details on the top let me select on this particular rectangle and we are going to change its color to our red color okay this red color wonderful and after that let's zoom in to that and we are going to create a group out of it all right and let's select on the group and we are going to hit k and we are going to reduce its size and we are going to place it right about here now what we are going to do is type in offer, offer valid till 5 pm ok let me zoom out of it we are going to reduce its size to 12 ok all right wonderful so let me zoom out of it and let me show you what we have just created all right so this is the website that we have just created it has already taken a lot of time for us to create uh, this particular website so i'm not going to make it much longer in the next video we are going to learn how to make this beautiful website fully responsive okay so that is it from this video if you like the video go ahead and give it a thumbs up thank you so much for watching namaste ji this is wish i'll see you in my next video bye bye take care